I can't imagine life without her. I love my kids. I love the kids. That encourages me every day to keep coming, keep driving. Persons tend to believe that because you have a disability, you're not normal. But you are normal. It's just that you have a different way of doing things. Cerebral palsy, CP, is a group of disorders that affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture. CP is the most common motor disability in childhood. Did you know that there are 18 million persons living with cerebral palsy globally? This year's theme for World Cerebral Palsy Day is Together Stronger. In a world that sometimes feels divided, there is a powerful force that unites us all, the undeniable strength of the human spirit. Meet Nehemiah a brave young soul who faces challenges most of us can't even imagine. He was born with cerebral palsy. But what this family has discovered is that cerebral palsy doesn't define him. It's just a part of his incredible journey. I like to get the experience because, you know, living with my grandson and getting this kind of a situation, it gives me more, like, courage and more strength you know to deal with not only my grandson alone but other children among guyana's many healthcare facilities there is a cherished place known as the ptolemy reed rehabilitation center a beacon of hope for numerous families and guyana's sole pediatric facility dedicated to children with disabilities here in Ghana, we have quite a few persons who are affected with cerebral palsy and here at the center we provide rehabilitation services for those persons along with school and daycare facilities. From the time he started, you know, he, he had this muscle problem and this couldn't sit up straight and, you know, the kind of thing. But and now I find it better. It's getting better every day. Cerebral palsy doesn't diminish the love, joy and hope that radiates from Nehemiah's family. They're bound by something deeper than a disability. Another brave soul, Jafona Matthews, is also benefiting greatly from the therapy offered at the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center. With CP, before her, I never knew about cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy. But um, when she was when she born, um, it was lack of oxygen. So as she developed, we noticed that she wasn't able to roll over. She was able to sit up and so forth. She started um, therapy here and she started to make progress. However, it, it has been difficult because, I mean, it's my only child, of course, an only child, and it's kind of, you know, hard seeing her not walking as, you know, as a typically developed child would. However, I'm still thankful that she's been able to make such progress. Um, when it comes to the physio, the, the physical part, um, as you see, she's been able to sit up. They've been doing some, you know, um, well, whatever technique that they've been using, <laughs> it's, it's been really good. The inspiring story of Belicia Budram, who overcame incredible odds to become a physical therapist, despite being born with cerebral palsy, is a testament to the power of hope. I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at birth. I was born at six months old with less than two kg. So it's a miracle that I'm alive, thank God. I started with um, physiotherapy and occupational therapy 17 years ago, um, whereby they would run me through the resume with the exercises, and I would do mostly exercises with my hands to, with, to help with the grasping and gripping. And so on. Once a patient at the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center, Belicia is now committed to assisting those who are in the position she once was. It is a great joy to give back to the give back to the community and give back to my country as well for somebody living I won't say living with a disability because I don't really consider myself as being, you know, disabled, but it is it gives me joy and it gives me pleasure that I can motivate others, kids with disability, kids that, that are normal, but you know, they feel a sense of unwantedness just because of by the way they speak, maybe 
maybe the way how they walk, how they hand, how their hand is. By being kind and compassionate to those living with disabilities, we not only enhance their lives but also enrich our own. Together, we can build a more inclusive and loving society where everyone's unique abilities shine. Another remarkable program offered by the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center ensures that children receive walkers, wheelchairs, and other necessary assistive devices free of charge. Depending on the severity of the condition, the child may need a wheelchair, and these are available. If the child needs any other um, assistive device or artists or processes, they can also access that here at the center. As a nation, we can collectively contribute to fostering an inclusive society by establishing an environment where individuals with cerebral palsy or any other disability have easy access and opportunities. I would like to let the, the, the nation know that preparing Making your environment barrier free is what is the specific message that we would like to bring over today, World Cerebral Palsy Day. We would like to bring over the issue that persons make their entrances, make their, their, their passages free, barrier free for persons with disabilities, more so persons with cerebral palsy. Imagine for a moment the difference we can make by being more inclusive, understanding, and patient. By extending our kindness, we create a more inclusive society where everyone, regardless of their abilities, can thrive. For kids living with cerebral palsy and other disabilities, they shouldn't feel less worthy of themselves. They should always feel included into society because they're no different to a normal, regular person. I desire whatever happened to me and the way that I made progress, I would want it for them. Like, reach for the stars. You know, anything is possible. Even though that person may appear to be different from you or what you think is normal, there's still a person where you still have to be inclusive and encourage them to come out and to participate. We are always um, encouraging persons here at the center to participate and we give lots of support if there's someone that needs support or guidance on where to go and the different um, facilities that they can access. They can always feel free to reach out to us and we can guide them and advise them accordingly. Even though it may not be a case where they may need therapy, we can advise them about the different ministries that offer different support because the, uh, the ministries, different ministries also offer support. They're training programs for preteens as well. We also have a vocational training unit where we do training for preteens as well. So there are lots of opportunities out there still and it's not a case where you should look down on it and discriminate on the person and think that it's a life sentence. It, de it also depends on the severity of the condition. So you might have some persons that don't have such severe um, cerebral palsy that can be incorporated in society. They can find meaningful jobs. They can, they can um, contribute. So if you do have a child that's diagnosed with that, don't think of it as the end of the world. There, there are um, services out there that you can access and people out there like us that are willing to help you and guide you in the right um, path. So feel free to reach out to us and we'll, we'll, if we can't help you, we'll try to, our best to point you in the right direction to give you the assistance you may need. Normally when persons see a child, even children, see other children with disability, they think that they're um, not human, I would put it. But I think that if they introduce it into the schools, from a young age, they can be able to understand what it means for you know children and people living with disability and be able to treat them better, and so they can be part of society and be comfortable. If you see someone with cerebral palsy, and most of the time they they cannot walk properly, they cannot control the movement of their hands or feet or so, or something like that. You're not to just sneer at them or anything like that. You have to realize this is a human being. The human rights aspect of you must come out at this point in time. You know, this is a human being and this person has rights just like you. People with disability, treat them with love and care more for them. 